artificial intelligence is beginning to grow on me. And if you have been following my YouTube videos on artificial intelligence in photography, then maybe it's growing on you as well. Today, I want to share with you an update that Skyloom made to Luminar. And in particular, it's their Accent AI version 2. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we're going to be talking about Skyloom's Luminar version 3 and their Accent AI filter, the second version of Now, before we dive in, please click that subscribe button below because I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible and you don't want to miss it. And Karate Kick, the notification bell. And a quick thank you to Mac Worldwide Warranty for partnering with me on all of my videos. I get a Mac Worldwide Warranty on everything from the camera I'm recording on to the computer I'm screencasting on and, well, it even covers accidental damage, so can't go wrong. Check out Mac Worldwide Warranty, available at camera stores all around the world. I have been working with Skyloom's software since they were called MacFun, and really I've been working with the team at Skyloom since they were at Nick Software before Google acquired Nick. So I'm a big fan of what Skyloom is doing. Now I may not use their software on a daily basis, but I love that they innovate in so many different ways. And today I want to show you their Accent AI filter. Basically, their Accent AI filter enhances details in, very, in, in many things, including people, and in buildings, and in skies, and things like that, all with one slider. And they recently updated Luminar, their, their core software, they recently updated Luminar, and the Accent AI filter has been updated to version 2. So let's dive into the computer so you can have a look at what it does. So here we are with a photo. Uh, this is a photo that I made for a client. I have a client who uh, buys distressed properties and they fix it up and rent the properties or they flip the properties. And um, so I do a lot of photographs for them of the exteriors, interiors, for insurance purposes, for their marketing purposes and things like that. I also create content for them. So I've got a whole archive of photos of random houses that uh, you know, just all over the, all over New Jersey. So this photo is one of their properties, and uh, you can see right here I'm in the edit module, and I'm going to look at this Accent AI filter. Let me bring it up to the top just so you can see it better. Over here, the Accent AI filter, and all I'm going to do, and you can see, by the way, there's also the AI Sky Enhancer, and I want to show you something interesting about this, but uh, the Accent AI filter is going to increase the uh, texture and the depth and the contrast and everything and the, the colors across the entire scene of every part of it and make it just look beautiful. Okay, so all I'm going to do is boost it, ready? I'm going to gr grab the slider and just bring it up and just pay attention to, for example, the siding of the house. Pay attention to uh, the rust on the fence and pay attention to the sky over here versus over here. Okay, let's bring up the, the slider. And you can see everything is just getting punchier and punchier. Let me bring up this before and after. Look at the difference before and after. Look at the sky alone, right? The sky looks really great. Look at the, the, the fence against the, the siding. Look at the details in the siding. Everything was just enhanced. The, basically, I'm going to say it's kind of like doing auto without doing auto. Um, now, some of this might be a little bit too saturated, right? The blue's a little bit too saturated, so I'd probably bring it back a little bit. It, I, I probably wouldn't have it as much as it is. So maybe what I would do is I would actually uh, mask away. So I'm going to brush, and I'm going to actually erase from the sky and not have it do the sky at all. Because what I might want to do instead of that is I might want to enhance the sky with the AI Sky Enhancer instead and control that separate because look how much better that looks. So now if I was to show you before and after, before and after, that looks like a really nice photo. And all I did, the only thing I did was two sliders, both of which uses Skyloom's artificial intelligence. But in particular, the one that did the most of the work 
is the Accent AI filter. That did majority of the photo, again, before, after. That did majority of the photo, and then I just added the AI Sky Enhancer because I didn't like the saturation that the Accent AI, Accent AI filter did to the sky. But again, I could always add another Accent AI filter and use that on the sky and just mask away everything else. Anything is possible. Um, you know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can even mask using a radial mask, a gradient mask, and luminosities. You don't have to just brush it manually if you don't want to. Now let's go into a different photo. We'll go to an interior photo so you can see what that will do with the Accent AI filter. So a lot of the properties I photograph uh, are very distressed, and some of them are gutted. Some of them have leaking roofs. Some of them have fire damage and things like that. So this photo in particular, there's there's basically no windows. There's windows, but, um, you know, it's just blind. That's all that's there. You can see that there's a lot of natural light. You can see there's a lot of texture, but it's also very dark. So I'm curious to see what happens when I use this Accent AI filter version 2 in this photo. Here we go. We're going to boost it. And you can see it's actually brightening the dark parts of the photo, but not making it too too bad. You can see this, it's getting a little bit of noise over here in this area, but it's still, it's not so bad. You can even see the, the, the light coming through the roof. It didn't help with the windows too much as far as, um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, bringing back some of that because it's, it's not going to. Um, and there's probably no detail on that because I was exposing for the interior, not, not worrying about the exterior. I didn't need to do an HDR in here, even though I could have. Uh, so it's perfectly fine. But look what it did. You know, again, here's before, after. Look what it did uh, to this photo with very little effort. And it actually looks pretty good. So I'm not going to do anything else to this. Uh, let's move on to another one. Okay, so this one is also going to be one that should be really interesting. It'll probably brighten up some of these areas. It's not going to do anything about these windows. I just love this perspective. I just did this photo more for me than I did for the client. But we're going to boost this one and see. Boom, right there. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks compared to the original. Sort of flat and dark versus, you know, punchy. Uh, it's not overdone. It To me, this looks like a great, you know, sort of ur urbex type photo. So... Um, yeah, you know, it's just great. Let's, let's move on to another exterior photo. All right, so here we are with another exterior photo. This is another house that they flipped, and I'm going to just boost the uh, Accent AI and see what it does for the photo. Now, you don't always have to go all the way up, but sometimes going all the way up is good, but then it's not so good in, the, in certain places. So the sky it looks really a mm, little bit weird, but it looks great in the grass. Look at the grass before and after with the Accent AI filter. It really enhanced the, the, the foliage. It really enhanced the brick and the house itself, but not the sky. So again, maybe the Accent AI filter is not the best for the sky. Maybe it's okay. Uh, it really depends on, on your purpose. But okay, so what I'm going to do again is just take it away from the sky. We're just gonna quickly brush that away so it's not impacting the sky at all. Let's view the mask, just make sure it's okay. Yeah, and then once that's done, we are going to bring in the Sky Enhancer. Now, here's something really interesting that the artificial intelligence, the AI Sky Enhancer, actually recognized that there's not enough sky or it doesn't need to enhance it. So it actually won't let me do anything using the AI Sky Enhancer. So that's actually how smart that the AI in, in Luminar is, that it has, it, if it can't detect what the object is, what the um, tool is to be used for, it's not going to let you use the tool. So that is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so I don't have to do anything to this guy. If you were to just use the, um, the uh, Accent AI filter and look at before and after, it, with, the, with what it did to this guy removed, I think that looks like a pretty good photo. As we move on to the inside of the house, uh, this uh, was a very distressed property. And this is just an old TV in the corner of a room, very dusty. And I'm curious to see what it's going to do when I, when I enhance the, uh, the photo using the AI filter. So you can see it actually did brighten the photo, which I don't want. I actually like it darker, so I'm going to bring it back down. But what it did was it brought a lot of the details out of the TV, which I thought was pretty good. 
Uh, I might even bring down the highlights and shadows a little bit to make it really, really moody. What else is cool about this is I could actually bring up the presets and we could uh, we could make it look very, very unique. Uh, we can make it look classic. Look how vintage that looks with the old, here's an old film toning. I really like how that looks. And you can see it's even using the Accent AI filter, which we could increase, decrease um, as we want. So there we go. So look at that. So here's a, a strip before and after again with this one. Look, That's a little bit of color toning. There's a lot being used here. And uh, the Accent AI filter to bring out the details in that TV. So I am very impressed with the Accent AI filter version 2. I think it's doing a really good job at at uh, it bringing out details. I think that it's not so good on the skies. I think it overdoes the saturation on skies. But there is the AI sky filter that's inside of Luminar as well that again will not work if it doesn't think it needs it. So um, you have to be the judge. Maybe what you do is you add two Accent AI filters and you just mask it in like what I did for uh, one of the photos. You mask it in for just the sky and then you can adjust the saturation of just that part using masking and things like that. There's a lot you can do because Luminar is very flexible. So I'm, like I said, I'm impressed. I like the direction Skyloom is going with their AI. Maybe they'll take some, some cues from other AI going on in the photo industry and uh, incorporate it as well. So great job Skyloom and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.